would essentially get the same thing by using our trusty blitz needle and having Masquerade launch their quills when over the can. We would do more damage and probably get some stronger poison effects onto monsters that way. Hello everybody, you can call me bloody. I welcome back to Spire Knights. We need a plague needle. Oh god. And in doing so, we'll have to raid Sullivan's stash of recipes. I'm sure you won't mind. The plague needle is like the blitz needle, but just slightly weaker. But it can inflict the poison status effect, which is nice, but the amount of Krogma grinding that it took to get this thing, uh, as well as the other uh, Krogma recipes, might make this thing a bit of a hard sell. But whatever, it's always nice to try out some new weapons every now and then. I guess you could say it's another one of those fun weapons that can have some practical use. We have an auto gun that's been waiting for this moment. Let's get ourselves a toxic needle. Well, that's the first step taken towards making the plague needle. Let's equip this little number and go see how effective this thing is in the arcade. So far, so good. We might only have a slight chance of causing moderate poison with the Toxic Needle, and I'm assuming the same applies for the other upgrades, but we're getting some decent damage out of this thing, and it seems to do the job just fine. That should be good enough for now. Let's exit the arena and go work on heating and upgrading this thing. We love our Blitz Needle. It's versatile enough to help us out in most situations, but maybe we can work towards crafting this thing and hope that we can get something of a similar feeling using the Blitz Needle, but with the Plague Needle instead, if that makes sense. There we go. After making a hasty retreat back to the Haven, as well as unequipping our Toxic Needle, our Blight Needle is about to arrive very soon. Now we just need to upgrade our Toxic Needle. We have our Blight Needle now. Let's get going with this new thingamajig and see how much pain and suffering we can cause with our new Blight Needle. Let's head into the arcade. Now that I think about it, with our usual loadout that we oftentimes use for the Firestorm Citadel, we would essentially get the same thing by using our trusty Blitz Needle and having Masquerade launch their quills whenever they can. We would do more damage and probably get some stronger poison effects onto monsters that way. Well, that's just fine, as we're always glad to add new weapons onto the arsenal whenever we get around to doing that of course. Either way, the poison does help us out a little bit when fighting monsters. If I recall correctly, how the poison works in this game is that the poison prevents healing, attacking power is reduced, and defense is slightly lowered, or something like that. I do at least know that you do slightly more damage when enemies are poisoned. Would you look at that? We inadvertently got some glyph hunting done while we were doing these test runs. As the tornado event is happening right now, and we'll just have to get around to farming some ancient shells whenever we can, so that we can get around to adding some new tornado equipment into our arsenal, which sounds awesome. But we can do that later because we've got a plague needle to craft. First, let's get heating. A little multitasking probably can't hurt, as we needed to eventually get around to heating up these 4 star equipments that we're going to be using for a later time. But anyways, we have our Blight Needle, almost prepped for upgrading. Level 10. That's about all that we have to do for now in terms of upgrading this thing. Let's get crafting. Alright, we need to unequip this thing. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, now we can get around to getting ourselves a Plague Needle. The Plague Needle has been crafted. Let's get this thing on and go try it out in the one place where players are usually bringing their Blitz Needle with them. The Firestorm Citadel. More specifically, the Vanaduke boss fight. Or even more specifically, the last phase of the Vanaduke boss fight, because this video would have been significantly longer if I had put in the whole thing. The 
the Plague Needle's damage output might be slightly lower than the Blitz Needle's, but let's give it a chance and see if we can defeat Vanaduke with it. The poison can help us weaken the monsters that get in the way of our poisonous Blitz Needle. Here we go. Well that wasn't too bad, I mean we did make a few mistakes in this boss fight, but overall I'm quite happy that we managed to get around to crafting a new weapon. Welcome to the arsenal, Plague Needle. We probably could have tested this thing out on the Torta Drone event, since the event is going on and all that stuff, but I think this works too. Let's get our treasure and head on home. And that's all that I have to share with you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.